we're kind of the victims of our own success sometimes. We've, we've portrayed a picture to the world that we are sort of not, I mean, we haven't s specifically said this or tried to do this, but the rest of the world sees us as, as completely all-knowing, all-seeing, uh, completely precise. And, you know, look, w warfare is really, when you really get down and touch it, it's just ugly, and it's messy, and it's unpredictable, and it's chaotic, and there's fog, and there's friction, and I don't know what happened as I sit here today, because I've been very careful. Now, I want this investigation to have the freedom to really tell us what happened. So what can I say about this event today? Here's what I can say, absolutely say, is it wasn't something we did intentionally. Regrettably, they, the Pakistan military believe we did. They do. They believe we did this intentionally in some way to either discredit them or goad them into further action. Or, I mean, it's incomprehensible to me that they believe that based on our efforts to build a relationship over time. But they do believe that. And so we're trying to um, address each other on that basis. But what I can say, absolutely, and, I, I, mean, I, and I, I can't imagine anyone in this room wouldn't believe me, we did not attack a border post, a Pakistan military border post, intentionally. If you think we did, I'd have to ask you in return, what in the world would we hope to gain by doing that? So I can say that categorically. The relationship is strained. I mean, and, and I've, uh, I've uh, spoken with General Kiani, who was, by the way, my Leavenworth classmate. Um, I've spoken with uh, our own leaders, of course, over there to, to uh, uh, encourage this investigation to really get to the facts and to take the time it needs to be done correctly so that we can engage our Pakistani counterparts. We're in touch with our defense representative in, in Islamabad, uh, Lieutenant General Ken Keane, who's doing a great job um, helping us try to, try to restore some balance. Uh, we're adapting to some of the things they've done, you know, the closures of the ground lines of communication and so forth. We're assessing the cost of that. There is a cost. Um, and, uh, w you know, what we're trying to do is, is uh, have show some patience, asking them to show some patience, and then we'll try to, to get back in touch with each other and uh, see if we can work through it. But, yeah, it's, it's, uh, it's a mess.